primarily as a fabricator of small pipeline related equipment and then through the years we've grown to the point where we build of course vessels as large as the one you see behind me. It's about 168 inches in diameter, about 120 feet overall length, weighing in excess of 330,000 pounds. You had to bring in a big crane from Bennett, didn't you? That's right. In fact, this is uh, supposed to be the maiden voyage of the largest crane in Oklahoma. It's a 600 ton AC 500 Terex DMAG. Uh, we purchased it at the end of last year to try to find a market for it in this area. Uh, it's the largest hydraulic crane in this area. Hope to get into the windmill business. Seems like that's going to be a big thing with the stimulus money and stuff. Hope to get some refinery work with it as the refineries expand. Of course, there's a lot of manufacturing, just like uh, Fabwell is here in this area, that we go out and do a lot of loading for and stuff. We actually started manufacturing of this 18 weeks ago. Built it in record time in 18 weeks and uh, had uh, about 3,500 labor hours to build it. Uh, at one time, we had as many as 10 welders. Uh, working on this job. Uh, we will be shipping it by truck to the Port of Catoosa and then we'll be going on from the Port of Catoosa to uh, right directly to the refinery and they have a barge facility at the refinery where they'll, where they'll uh, take the vessel off the barge and right into the refinery. Back in the 80s we had a lot more industry and industry in this country was a lot stronger than it is now and, uh, and I've seen industries move out and move out of this country but uh, we're still here, we're still manufacturing, we're still proud to stamp the American Made sticker on this vessel.